I hate riding uphill. It's hard, it's demanding, and it's completely exhausting. But everyone knows that life isn't always a gentle downhill. There have to be some challenging slopes along the way to make life's journey complete. People like my dad with motor neuron disease understand those hills all too well. This cruel disease strips them of even the most basics of life, walking, talking, eating, even breathing, things that eventually have to be done for them. That's why I'm embarking on my greatest challenge yet, to honour my dad by mountain biking up and down Coronet Peak Enduro Track 101 times within 10 days to raise much needed money for those fighting this disease in New Zealand. I've done it before, raising nearly $50,000 by mountain biking from Cape Ranga to Bluff last year, and I'm hoping to match that mount again. If you're wondering what's wrong with me, then join the club. 10 laps per day for 9 days, 11 laps for 1 day, 50,000 metres vertical in all. In comparison, the 2015 Tour de France climbed 27,000 metres over 3 weeks. I plan to complete twice that amount in half the time on a hard off-road mountain bike track. Frankly, I don't even know if it's possible. From Coronet Peak Base Building to the top is 4 kilometres of winding single track ascending 480 vertical metres. It's steep and the altitude makes the air thin and hard to breathe. For me it's a glimpse into the nightmare world of my dad and the 400 or so other people suffering from motor neuron disease at any one time in New Zealand. Losing the ability to do anything for yourself must be frightening, confusing, frustrating and degrading. Then there's times when your body just can't go any further and you have to slow down. Each lap up and down takes 75 minutes to complete in ideal conditions. Sometimes I'll have to push my bike and walk, and in those times I'll truly appreciate the abilities human beings have to achieve anything they want, just so long as their bodies continue to cooperate. Rocky ground is part of life, but when you get hit by boulders it doesn't seem fair. My dad could do anything with his hands, he even built his own two-seater aeroplane, but his diagnosis five years ago has seen his hands become useless. What's frustrating is that we don't know why this disease strikes at random. Funding is desperately needed to continue to search for answers. I know there will be times during the ride when I feel on top of the world, and times when my 43-year-old body will scream at me to stop, but I won't. It's too late to save my dad from this affliction but I'm determined to make a real difference for the Motor Neuron Disease Association of New Zealand, which helps patients and their carers around the country every day. And every time I reach the top, I'll pause and enjoy one of Mother Nature's truly inspirational creations. The one thing I've learnt from my dad's illness is that you need to relish the times when you're most happy, when you're exhausted but proud of your achievements, when your kids tell you that they love you, when the world lies before you like a rich tapestry of endless potential. I'll never enjoy riding uphill. The thrill of the wind slapping my face as I descend will always be my favourite part, but even then the path will still be windy and dangerous. Please support my challenge, and then my ten days of hell will be worth every second. It's crazy, probably physically impossible, but worth a shot. I hope to feel your support behind me, helping to push me every metre of the journey. Please visit my website to pledge your support. I'm Kerry Vivian, and in February 2018, my 10 days of hell will begin.